All right, bringing you along on another project. Here's an IEL AB. It was um, their second one men saw. Their first one was called an IEL Beaver. This is the second one. The IEL Beaver actually had a magneto underneath the fan shroud, like a real mag. This one has gone to your basic points of condenser. And you see this wraparound pulley for the start. Well, the AB got a recoil. That was its kind of update. The handlebars were usually kind of a maroon, purpley color. Same with this piece. Um, the gentleman that owns this owns the IEL Pioneer Twin that I redid. So it's the same red, same paint. I said to him, it'd be really nice if you had a, you had got an AB to put with it for display and do the same colors. You know, like the call it a blue gray call it whatever you want the colors were the same on the two of them there's a the gun I use I did it in base coat clear coat automotive like you know spray the primer spray the base color spray the clear coat just a cheap ultra pro gun there's what they look like all together that's mine um, no intention in restoring it you can kind of see uh, I don't know it's not gonna really show but it's almost a purpley, the burgundy color that they were on there. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> There's very little paint down in there. There's a sample of the paint right there. You know, it's dull in that, but it gives you an idea. This is close. Anyway, let's get at her, put her together, and I'll bring you along as we go, okay? For now, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, just back quick. I've got the front handlebar on. This front handlebar is an actual oil tank for your bar oil. You got a coupler there, I got the cover on, I got the front spike on. Got the rear handle on, the carburetor is your throttle linkage. This one you pull to rotate the handle because uh, it's a float bowl carb. You tip the saw, you keep the handle and fuel tank upright. There's a brand new, sorry for the shaky camera, brand new aluminum handle, that's what they had. So we got the shroud to go, the top shroud, fan shroud, to cover the fuel tank, fuel line, sediment bowl. It takes a long time to clean up all the parts and get them together. You don't want to mark it all up. Well, I'm taking pictures as I go and at the very end of the video you'll see a bunch of pictures. This is fun getting all this linkage in here without tearing everything up. Get a little bit of a screen. Anyway, when I get a little bit more done, I'll get back to you. Alright, back again. The whole saw is assembled. Um, usually you see these with copper lines. This one had a rubber line. Don't know if some was that way. I wasn't born in the late 40s when this thing was made, so it doesn't really matter. Take it or leave it. It's got the rubber line, not the copper line. Anyway, it's all done. Now, trying to decide whether to hand letter these. I've done them before, I haven't done them in years. Getting a little shaky as I get older. Anyway, if I do it, I'll get back to you. Anyway, like I say, I'll let you know. Alright, this is the last part. It's Sunday, I think it's October 23rd, somewhere around there, 22nd, 23rd. Um, got it all done. I um, lettered all the uh, um, embossed letters on it. It's too bad I downloaded a bunch of pictures Saturday night and was looking at them. And the gas tank has some mild dents on each side. It's too bad the um, pictures make it look really, really bad. I've got lots of extra paint left of that color. If we find a better tank for them, we'll put it on. But it is a nice saw. Um, I know that the ABs were more of a purple color of the handle, like I say this color is to go along with the Pioneer Twin that he has, and um, it in the pictures of the manual shows a lighter color. There's all different versions of this stuff, like I mean they were just a tool. They painted it with whatever they had. They are just a tool, they weren't a car, they weren't no show piece. Anyway, I'll have um, a couple more videos coming up, I've got a... 530 530 n sorry needs uh there's no spark 
needs a diaphragm and the carburetor a couple pieces changed out another saw anyway thanks for watching and like I say there'll be some pictures at the end and I'm gonna throw in some pictures of this saw when it was picked up it was painted completely red 100% red anyway hope you enjoy the video take care bye